I wear the Ting Tings. Check out our interview on rick.com. That is so, now how long did it take you to do the vocals, Kate? Um, I can't remember. We, 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 it's a weird thing with this song because mm -hmm. normally we're really um, impatient with songs and if we don't like it within two or three hours when we start to write it, we'll delete it. And this song, we, we loved it and then suddenly we didn't feel comfortable with it and we, we kind of put it to the side and carried mm. on with the rest of the album. Hands was probably the first song we wrote. Yeah, it was. We, no we normally delete something yeah, we like it. But really. something inside us was like, no, we can't delete it. And then at the end, we listened to it again and just changed it a tiny little bit and then fell completely back in love with it again. So I don't actually know how yeah. long it took. It just, to it's just a happy song. I don't hear some auto tune sound to it either. You know what? No, just, you don't it, like it, that. I think auto tune has kind of hit its peak, way hit its peak. That's horrible. Really. I want to hear a Absolutely. person sing, not a computer. You know what's yeah. funny? We yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, Kev. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, you know, you hear people talk about auto-tune so much, and for the longest time, I thought that an auto-tune was like an actual instrument. It's just a plug-in on Pro Tools. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, no, yeah, yes. it's, it can be a cheap trick. <laughs> but it sounds like more than one of you, did you did you double your vocals? Yeah, yeah, I like to do that. I think it gives it good, like, chorus It's a effect. huge chorus effect, but yeah. still. And because they're both not exactly the same, it kind of makes it sound very human. Yeah. And but her, her sense of, of being in tune is natural, isn't it, Jules? Yeah, but it's it's a, also just her, it's the rhythm. She naturally, when she sings, I mean, if you can see it graphically on Pro Tools, you'll see what I mean, but there's something right. about the way she sings. She's, it's almost like a lazy thing as well. Mm. It's on it, but it's kind of behind the beat, which just gives the whole record like its own life. It's not sort of, it's not perfect. But you know, that was originally, that that was what the secret was of, of what they call soul music, R&B, yeah, because they, they, R and B almost misses the beat. Yeah, yeah, I always do, and I yeah. don't mean to. I just naturally do. But but you see, because of that, in your mind, as a as a listener or as a dancer, it kind of jerks you to the beat because yeah. I'm following your voice, and it jerks me to the next beat. Yeah. Yeah. And it's subconscious, but you have it. Don't change that. Uh. <laughs> really. <laughs> yeah, the next song I'll be so. Like, you mentioned L A. You mentioned L A. Which of course you know, L A. is there's an energy to this city, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, there really is this, this time of the year. Yeah, it's a. In, we had a weird thing with LA where we, we first came here and we didn't understand it. You know, there's no center to it and stuff like that at first. And then after about three times of visiting it, everybody said you've got to go more than once, and then it will completely make sense and you'll love it. And that's what happened. Like yeah. we started to get really excited to come sure. here again. There's not one city. You see, there's not one city. But what you can do is you can go from exactly where you're sitting right now. I did this last week my house is three minutes Katie from where you're sitting wow. and I said Julie let's go down to Newport Beach and and it's an, about an hour and 15 minute trip which is nothing yeah and it's another world yeah. literally um, 15 degrees temperature change oh, the surf is there uh, but the water is pretty but it's 63 degrees yeah so there are no hurricanes because of that, but it's just a very strange sensation. It's, there's an energy to Southern California. Yeah, yeah really it really is. Good. And, and you know what? This energy has enveloped both of you, and I can see it. Oh, I mean, Jules has it taken off. What are, they, are these the Wayfarers? <laughs> I don't know what they are, but they're definitely cool. I need to get some I, red I, shades. I love <laughs> your glasses. They, these sunglasses are beautiful. Thank you very much. Where'd you get them? Um, these are actually Paul Smith sunglasses. I've had them for about year or something kind of one of my favorite they glasses. are absolutely perfect on your face thank you they don't come off they're actually stuck <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah well it looks good yeah. you have any favorite fashion you have, you have a stylist yeah um i always had problems with stylists because i'm quite i look terrible when i try and look glamorous it just doesn't suit me and mm -hmm. every red carpet we've done even to like the last grammys i hate my pictures of when i'm on the red carpet i'm always like I look like I'm going to a wedding, you know? <laughs> I get all confused and mm. kind of lose my style. So I've just found a girl who's a fashion blogger and she, she's never studied fashion in her life. She's just a girl from London that is like just a complete clothes geek. She loves everything to do with clothes and she writes passionately about it. And now she's like gets invited to front rows of all the fashion shows and stuff like that. And, and she's never studied it. And so I'm starting to use her because I think she's a, a bit different to what- mm -hmm. And you make some of your own clothes too. Yeah, when I have time, yeah, I, I learned how to do it. So I would make all our, well, all our t-shirts when we first started for our fans and I would make all my stage dresses and stuff like that. Describe what you have on now, including jewelry, if you don't mind. Um, 
Okay, I've got like an Adam's Family type bra bracelet that's a hand. <laughs> Look at that. It is, it's, it is a hand, <laughs> yeah. which is perfect for the new single. It goes on your, yeah. your wrist. Then I've got a ring I got from Berlin for like 15 euros, which is like a ring with little houses on it. And then I've got a star ring on that's, yeah, it's like... Is that a gift? Yes, it is. And then I've got a, from Berlin also, like a laser cut rubber bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, and then I've got this chain thing on that I put on with everything at the moment because it kind of, you can wear a very simple top and it make it look interesting. But it imagine is how it. difficult it is going through customs. Yeah, can yeah, you imagine? She sets off every alarm yeah. imaginable. Yeah. Oh. So. Well, I tell you what, it is just a joy to have you both. You're getting number one downloads everywhere. Uh, the album's doing really well. Everybody's excited. Thank so, you. so what's the what's the what's the plan, both now and the next few months? Is it is it a lot of touring or what? Uh, we're just planning our tours. We want to be really creative with our touring, find really cool venues like we did with the Addy party when we've done the paint parties. We want to find something that's really different, keep us excited, as well as people that come to the show. So we're just looking at that at the moment globally of how we're going to go from A to B. Um, we're also kind of finishing off videos for the first album, for, you know, for this second album, for all the different singles. Uh, we're getting mixes and remixes. We've kind of really kind of researched all the people we wanted to do remixes around the world, finding some Japanese remixes for out there, some US mixes out here. It just takes time to do that because we're not the sort of band that just kind of lets mm -hmm. everyone else get on with it. We just really need to have our hands you know, involved with everything. To be honest, it's quite difficult when you're touring because you don't get to eat that well because you're in such a rush, but equally mm -hmm. you don't get to eat that much. What does your contract say? That you, you have to be served backstage? What, what do you write in the, what they call the rider? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> um, we try to get healthy food on our rider, but the thing mm -hmm. is, we can't eat like within two hours before stage. We can't eat because we're so energetic. It's like eating something big and then going for a run. It just doesn't work. You can't do that. No, you yeah. end up like burping on stage. <laughs> on the microphone, so. what, what is your biggest meal? Is it the midday meal? Uh, it was really, it should be, but I mean, it just depends what kind of schedule we've got. Mm -hmm. I guess now, at the moment, because we're doing quite a lot of work, is the breakfast. We try to make sure we eat some sort of healthy breakfast, a lot of fruit and some, you know, something substantial, and that can mm -hmm. get us through to a certain point. Sure. I've just sent my uh, tour manager off on a hunt to get me something now, because I've not eaten since breakfast. So he's running around somewhere in LA trying to find something <laughs> tasty. <laughs> now there's a, there's a Manchester accent as opposed to a London accent isn't there? Yeah, yeah. I'm Manchester. I'm London. Yeah. Yeah so um, but I'm I'm not as strong Manchester as um, I used to be because mm. I remember there was a band called Oasis from oh, Manchester yeah. <laughs> and I remember when they came to the States they're from quite close to where I'm from but they needed subtitles because nobody <laughs> how did they put subtitles they on all around their with interviews? Them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And um, luckily, I don't need subtitles. But my, no, you if don't. you heard my granddad speak, you probably wouldn't be able to understand him. It's like, the same. It's my tours are cold, and it's yeah. all vowels. And, <laughs> and it's know. the same for me. I'm not. I haven't got. A t I come from East London, so um, there's a typical East London accent, which is called Cockney. I don't know if you heard that. So mm -hmm. they're like, all right, geezer, how you doing? You know, it's like that kind of. Mm -hmm. I don't fall into that category. I kind of. <laughs> we're a little bit soft of both of our yeah. accents. I but oh, the yeah, thing is, you... we can understand all <clears throat> your accents because we watch all your movies. Yeah, right. Oh, you know, that's right. We understand every kind of region from the States. Whereas, really? Yeah, whereas, you know, some places... I remember I went to Canada once and some guy just could not understand me to the point where we just was like, should we just stop our conversation because <laughs> it's not <laughs> getting anywhere. You yeah. don't understand yeah. me. And I understood him perfectly. And what's really weird about... Um, you know, us lot coming over here, you go to San Fran, you go to LA, New York. Uh, if you've never been before, you feel it's so familiar, and it's exactly what Katie says because, you know, San Francisco has been on movies, and you see, you know the landscape because of all the movies, even down the streets of San Francisco that's on right. repeat still today. You know, you mm. see the you see the series and stuff, and because when you get there, you kind of go, God, it's exactly like it is, in the, and say with New York and LA, you know, you've seen all this. So you kind of feel, like, whereas in the UK, there's not as many movies made in London. I know there is, there are movies that exist, but not as much as in the States of all your different cities. Mm -hmm. They're so kind of well documented in movies around the globe. That, that is Everybody true. feels like when you get here, you go, oh, I know this, you know, I know this building. I've seen it so many times, the mm -hmm. street, the familiar familiarity. So it's kind of really weird. It's, it's a kind of... It's funny, I hadn't been to Hollywood until I was 26 years old. Yeah. And so when I first got here, I said, wow. This looks just like it does in the movies. Yeah. <laughs> so you even oh yeah, the same thing. Imagine having that 
going to a different country for you because you're still even though you're coming to Hollywood right. it's state for you exactly but for, for us it's like going to a different country and it being that familiar it's really weird mm -hmm. listen Ting Tings thank you so much oh, thank you. awesome welcome. they're number one for a reason <laughs>